This conference will now be recorded. Hi all, uh, once again, very good morning and uh, thanks for being joining. So as part of today's session, we are going to discuss uh, uh, a base concept of how to install SQL Server. Okay. Uh, in keep on our journey, you will get a lot of uh, parameters, a lot of best practices, a lot much of things about how we need to perform a standard installation in real world okay it's very difficult right away to understand all the parameters what are the best practices what are the pre-installation steps what are the post installation steps because it's not like our computer right just we can go and download the sql server and just install sql server and we will just use uh, the sql server and whatever we are doing practice for next couple of days it's not like that so when you go for real world there are a lot of parameters where we need to take care so that your sql server will give the best performance getting my point so as of now it's very difficult to understand each and every point okay what are the parameters are most important uh, we need to take in care okay before we installing sql server after we install the sql server what are the steps we need to take care so we have lot many lot much of things had to discuss but right away so we are going to discuss how to install a basic sql server then keep on our journey you will get lot of uh, parameters lot of options i'm going to cover all that concept i will explain to you so when you installing sql server these are also point you should make a note getting my point sir yes subhu in the form of security in the form of uh, sql server uh, parameters settings okay options all are very important sir out of out of the box i am going to explain couple of things and i will also share couple of documents to you okay so that you can uh, uh, going forward you can go and uh, spend some time whenever you have uh, get a chance go and look that articles those are best options where microsoft is recommending to enable those options so that your SQL Server will give better performance. Yes. Yes. Sub. Yeah. So, just I, I uh, before we go and start, sir. Before we go and start the SQL Server installation, I wanted to discuss a couple of points. Out of that, the first two point is instance. So technically, we should call it as an instance. We will call it as an instance. So let me ask you a question. What is instance? Anyone uh, who is already having experience? What is <coughs> instance? And others you can go and search in Google and tell me that just one line definition. What is instance? Either it can be Oracle or it can be C uh, SQL or it can be any technically we'll call it as an instance. Anyone, sir? Anyone what is instance? Okay, no problem sir. Okay, see So technically when you are installing SQL server sir, okay, so for example in in my laptop I install three three SQL server instance Okay, see when I go and verify. So when I go and click on browse for more, so I could see currently in my laptop there are three SQL instance are running. Means three SQL installation. Three times I have installed SQL Server in my mission, and each time I just provided one name. One name. Okay, so technically you we should call it as an instance or when, when you are installing SQL Server. So what is instance means instance is nothing but set of binary files along with your memory so every instance will have this own memory manager memory management sir so instance is nothing but a set of or collection of the binary files okay which will work together sorry uh, which will work together along with along with okay memory management 
so every sql instance will will contains its own memory management so assume i'm having three instance so internally in the buffer it will maintain three different caches so in a single is if in a single cache no sir it will make three different buffer managements and it will maintain three buffer pools and it will maintain three different caches because each instance having its own memory management getting my point to understand easily sir okay to understand easily can you install uh, uh, ms office or notepad or vlc player or any game sir in your laptop multiple times multiple set of files anyone no right <coughs> yes or no can you install vlc player twice sir no <coughs> you can download two different versions of any software sir okay except the database management system and try to install it will also it, it will whenever you are installing either lower version or higher version it will tell already the file is existing already the set of file is existing yes or no so how the, the the database management system is working means so every time when you are installing a, a sql okay it contains its own binary files and that will be a, a copy of sql server.exe every instance sir every time when you are installing a uh, sql it, it designs its own binary files either you can install sql server 2019 2017 2014 2016 and a single mission so overall sir in one laptop you can install 50 times you can install 50 times a sql server every time it gives its own name when, when you are installing SQL Server, it will definitely ask a name. So that name we are calling as an instance name. So technically we are calling instance. Sir. Instance is nothing but a collection of binary files along with your memory management in a simple definition. Getting? Everyone are you there? Yes, Subhu. <coughs> so every time you SQL install Chester, sir. Ah, installation name manam instance antam, sir. So pretty every time we install chase it up to okay instance create just good on the Okay, okay instance create just good instance can be okay separate name is them sir other technical go, we will call it as instance name. So we have two types <coughs> default instance named instance First time when you are installing SQL server most probably everyone will choose as a default instance only one one default instance sir only one default instance and 49 named instance you can install in one one server means one desktop one laptop okay you can install 50 times but no one will use sir. maximum you will see one or two maximum one sir maximum uh, most of the cases you will see only one instance one server one server low okay instance ne install just them sir max to max cases <laughs> in rare case you may also see two instance or also three instance maximum more than three no sir it will impact like performance like anything because it <coughs> it contains lot of data correct even you are having highest configuration mostly we never prefer to keep multiple instance should run in one server because okay it may not give that much performance so rather than keeping everything in a single instance why can't we keep build a new server and install sql server in that mission which will give better performance so performance sir, because if you it is not giving up to the performance no one you will use the applications right so whenever you are opening an application if that is taking too much slow and it is <coughs> not performing anything that you are as expected so definitely tomorrow you will go for different app right different application right in market there are multiple common applications sir like flipkart amazon tabdil okay so when you go mitra uh, uh, SEO, we have a lot of other choices where we can go and purchase yes or no so performance is the major role sir so max to max you will see one or two sir 
max to max or not but most of the cases only one instance one server so when you are installing sql server so technically we'll call it as an instance a instance is nothing but a sql server executable file sql dot exe along with the memory management for a simple so and we have two types of instance one is default instance one is named instance default instance is nothing but your computer name sir computer name so when you are installing sql server when you are installing sql server it will create with the your computer name your system name and named instance means computer name backward slash instance name instance name so for example if i am opening notepad so how you will connect sir uh, i no need sir so you can directly see sir this is my computer name you can go and verify go to command prompt <coughs> host name host name see sir this is my mission name n647 n647 so this is the default instance sir when you are installing sql server if you choose the default instance your instance will be <laughs> created with the server name so next time when you are installing sql server on the same server you need to specify the name any name sir that is up to your wish okay any name so when you are when you wanted to connect to the sql server you should call it server name backward slash instance name this is very important sir how you are going to connect to the default instance how you are going to connect with the named instance for default instance server name for named instance server name backward slash instance name so whenever you are installing sql server you need to choose whether i need to go for default instance or i need to go for named instance getting <coughs> yes no yes so got you sir questions yeah 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 first time when we are installing without default instance instance we can install named instance also right yes sir that is our wish only either you can go for default instance or we can go for named instance okay. so most of the cases 98% sir will install default only because the, the connectivity is very simple right server name is nothing but your sql name getting connectivity in the sense they need to mention in the application string right yes sir yes sir That's there only right there only okay. i will show you sir how the the connectivity looks like so what are the very important parameters so when we are discussing always on availability group i will show you how the connectivity looks like connection string look like okay Yeah, so instance technically uh, Simple sir when you are installing SQL server you should call it as an instance apart from nothing. There is no strange word So you should technically name it as an instance instance how many instances are running in, in you in your laptop So in my <coughs> laptop three instances are running one is the default two are the named Okay Sir, installation is very simple, sir. Again, you can directly download the setup file and you need to click on next, 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 next. Very, very easy <coughs> when you go for installation. But technical terms are very important, sir. So, technical terms are very important. So, we, uh, that's what I told you, right? <coughs> you can't simply go and install in real world, right? There are a lot many things you need to consider in real world. That is what very important, sir. Installation is very easy. Installation is very very easy, sir. Uh, when you especially go to the SQL Server, but the the pre means before I install SQL Server. What are the <coughs> things I need to get the information? All these are very important, sir. Okay, out of the box, we are going to discuss couple of things. Make a note, sir. Again, I am repeating. 
installation is very easy don't get confused but but what we are going to discuss is nothing but process the process is very important sir <coughs> make a sense yes subh yeah sir when you go to the installation when you go to the installation there are two types sir one is standalone installation one is cluster installation means sql on standalone sql on cluster again i am repeating sir so when you specially go to the sql installation okay so we will we will need to get whether i need to install sql server on standalone or i need to install sql on top of cluster sql on cluster okay so forget about that part sir sql on cluster we'll discuss in the coming days we'll now let's focus only on the standalone okay so for that's what sir forget about cluster sql on cluster okay when we are discussing when we start azure after 15 days we are going to start azure sir so once we complete a base concept we'll go for azure once we start azure we'll we'll build the vms on top of that i'm going to show you how to build the clusters how to build sql on cluster okay how to build active directory shared disk okay networks everything we'll discuss sir uh, with the practicals and we'll we'll try to configure the sql on cluster okay so we'll try to configure windows 2016 clusters we'll try to configure windows 2019 clusters and we'll see what is the difference you will notice on windows 2016 clusters on windows 2019 cluster and what is the major difference you will see when you are configuring cluster on on premises when you are configuring cluster on cloud cloud okay and what are the additional things what we need to take in care so when you are working on cloud not in on premises all this concept we are going to discuss sir, in uh, uh, coming sessions okay now let's focus only on the standalone so this is this is a vm so this is a vm if something goes wrong this vm will goes down sir if if this is sir what is standalone means sir they, forget about connectivity i am not discussing anything about connectivity a standalone vm okay is standalone vm and cluster vms a standalone vm cluster vm means sir cluster vm is nothing but group of the servers you sir assume sir this is one server this is one server this is one server and this is one more server or four servers are working independently ante ee naluk servers independent ga work chestunnai sir okay so if I, if i want to group these servers then you need to go for clusters this four vms currently it is working independently but having the communication so this server can interact with this server this server can interact with this server so all four servers are making interaction sir and having a connectivity but all the servers are working independently independently if we want to group then we will go for the clusters then we'll group all the servers which can work together <coughs> means if something happened to this server the server will take responsibility if something happened to this server the server will take responsibility so if four servers will goes down completely your application to goes down sir nothing we can do that is out of the box okay so currently i am not configuring any clusters at all so currently we are working with <coughs> standalone means independent server make a sense yes subh so if you are not getting this raise your voice okay again i am repeating if you are not getting again i can repeat so we have lot of time sir no worries okay standalone vms means working independently working independently if this server which goes down then your sql will down sir but when you go to the cluster if this server will goes down if sql is running on this box automatically this sql will move into this server automatically sir that is the clusters okay but 
now I am going for standalone. That is the one one thing, sir. One more is if you go for standalone, this is very very important point, sir. Again, I will repeat this point in advanced level. Make a note. Make everyone <coughs> note, sir. What is the major difference? You will notice when you go for C colon standalone C colon cluster. What is the major difference, sir? Anyone? <clears throat> Anyone? What is the major point uh, you will notice when you go for standalone SQL and when you go for clustered SQL? Major points, sir. Okay. So, sir. <clears throat> So when you go to the standalone VM When you go to the sorry when you go to the standalone SQL when you go to the standalone SQL You can store your data in the local disk Again, I'm repeating sir. This is very very important point again I will repeat and I will show you practically in in clusters as well Okay, if you go for standalone SQL if you go for standalone SQL you can store your data in local local disk local disk sir but when you go to the cluster you can't store your data in the local disk you need to create the shared disk shared disk okay this is the one of the major drawbacks sir why we are not preferring mostly on c colon cluster because your data own store in local drives if a data will store only on the network shared drives <clears throat> Currently, it's very difficult to understand uh, Who is starting your career again, sir? I will show you practically I will create the uh, Network shared drives and I will store the data and I will also compare that how Traditional is working how clusters are working then you will get better ideas sir. as of now but very important point everyone must and should remember what is the major difference you will see when you go for standalone SQL or when you go for clustered SQL that is your data your data will be storing on the local disk when you go for standalone your data can't store in the local disk when you go for clusters got it <clears throat> everyone make a note sir So uh, forget about the, this point sir again. We'll repeat. I will show you practically now make a note So sir, we want to install SQL server. <coughs> so assume I am your application team sir You are the DBS all your 15 or DBS. I am just Dropping a mail. Hey, hi Trupati. Hi Shiva. Hi Sambad. Can you please go and install SQL server on so and so server? And I am just mentioning the server name. Okay, so Cal SQL 4599. So 4599. So I am just providing the server name. Hey, can you go and install SQL on this server? Will you install SQL server, sir? You don't know what what version I wanted to install. You don't know what edition I wanted to install. Correct? What version? What edition? Okay, what are the features you are expecting from this installation? So we don't know anything sir actually So by just creating a ticket or by just dropping a mail and they are in proper data Don't go for the installation You should get a proper information That will good for to proceed the installation then go for the installation sir Otherwise, you need to wait for that requester or a drop a mail Like hi John a hey, hi Carl. Okay <clears throat> uh, so please let us know your availability time to discuss over the SQL installation. We me we need some more inputs to proceed our uh, to proceed the SQL installation on so on so server. So without all the inputs, don't go for installation. Getting my point? So these are the couple of <coughs> inputs you need to <coughs> get it, sir. Like version, edition, okay, uh, other concepts what we are going to discuss now 
all these concepts are very important sir. okay otherwise don't go for installation without proper information don't go proceed the installation sir get all the requirement get the, all the details to good to proceed the sql installation right so once you received all the information we are good to proceed the sql installation now i got the information called standalone installation or cluster installation i came to know i need to proceed with the standalone installation okay one point i got it sir next point is which version i need to install which version so sql 2019 2017 2016 2014 2012 got it <clears throat> which version i need to install now you can go and verify sir so what are the hardware requirement and software requirement You'll go and search in Google SQL Server 2019 hardware and software requirement. Hardware and software requirement. So when you try to open, okay, you will see uh, minimum how much memory you want. Okay, ma sir, uh, one GP RAM is sufficient, sir. One GP is RAM is sufficient, and your your processor speed will be okay, 2.4 or 1.4. 1.4 is also good sir make sure that it is <coughs> running with 64 bit operating system okay 64 bit operating system it contains 1 gp of ram and uh, 1.5 sir it's a basic again again i'm telling sir okay maximum no one using now everyone is using with eight cores four cores no one using with one core two cores sir correct yes or no so if if you are having the basic uh, vms also no worries sir it will work it will work but don't expect that much performance ante meer install chesukochandi but performance kodiga slow ga untundi apart from nothing else sir you can install okay again again i am requesting no need to purchase laptops uh, new laptops if you are having 4 gp of ram with uh, uh, 4 gp of ram with 4 core processor you can run the sql sir Okay, that is good. Once you got <coughs> got the placement, and once you start ending the amount, you can purchase the best laptop, sir. As of now, you can work. Okay, because that is a major reason I am showing the clusters and always on everything in the Azure part. Okay, so no need to again purchase a new laptop, sir. I, you are spending more time again. Don't I don't want keep more spending on more amount, sir. Once you settled, once you got opportunity, then you can go and purchase the better laptop. Okay. Yeah. And nowadays in real world, sir, no one is using with the one core or uh, uh, two GP of RAM, three GP of RAM, four GP of RAM. We will have decent amount of RAM, decent amount of cores. We are good on that part, sir. Okay. Now, very important is version your operating system. Okay, so if you wanted to install SQL Server 2019, okay, so by default it should get Windows 10 and Windows 11, or so on Windows 11 or Windows 10, you can install SQL Server 2019. So if your operating system is on Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, okay, you can't install SQL Server 2019, sir, uh, because it is not compatible on Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. So you need to upgrade your operating system or you can go for SQL Server 2016 and 2017, sir. Anything is fine, sir. Okay, so how you are installing 2016, 2017, 2019, 2014, 2020, almost same only. But what is the major, sir? Futures. Futures. Okay. If you want to work with certain kind of features that is not available in sequels over 2016 2017 because each version having is unique features enhanced features sir apart from all the installations are similar all the installations are similar getting my point if you, you can go for uh, sequels over 2016 2017 sir it is compatible for windows 8 as well 
getting my point sir so this is in your laptop sir when you go to the real world when you go to the real world we won't work with windows 8 windows 10 windows 11 sir will maintain all servers windows server 2008 windows server 2008 r2 windows server 2012 windows server 2012 r2 windows server 2016 windows server 2019 windows server 2022 so in real world we'll go for windows servers in normal when you go for your laptops you will go for windows 11 windows 10 windows 8 sir got you <coughs> online people yes no come on sir everyone yes yes sir. we're getting so silence means i will get afraid sir because you are not understanding anything okay sir once you got the installation sir that's what once anyone pinged you over the teams or over the mail or over the ticket okay don't go and blindly perform the installation sir okay first you need to connect to the server sir how you will connect to server rdp again i am repeating sir miru real world lo through rdp dwara server ki connect avutaru sir means mstsc microsoft terminal server service console console server console microsoft terminal server console sir okay mstsc through mstos only you will connect to the server so once i will open and i will pass the server name whatever application team right cal sql 4999 okay hey, this sir. yes hey sorry um so this is for uh, so to verify the connections to the sql server no this first we wanted to install sql server right sir if you okay. wanted to install sql server in this mission first you need to connect to this mission via rdp via mm -hmm. rdp you will connect to the server once you connect to the server verify all these parameters sir which operating system it is running okay how many cores it is maintaining how much of ram it is maintaining this is the basic check no no the one you are taking rdp right the cil sql so wow, that that is the server or that is a client this is server server, server. so wh wh why we need to do the rdp session uh, otherwise sir whenever you got opportunity sir you will have his mm -hmm. own they will allocate one desktop or they will allocate one laptop to you dedicated okay. yes or no mm -hmm. once you connect to the, your laptop or desktop how we will connect to the server sir why can't we install sir, the ssms on the the client machine and we connect only the database using no the you are number? not connecting you are not connecting sir you want to perform new installation for the new installation okay yes. so this is not for the connecting okay no sir this is not okay, for connecting it. this is for new installation okay so so in your environment so like um, so you are using like any vmware or uh, servers to connect it back or do you have any uh, physical server in your practical now oh i will show you sir as of now okay. that's what sir as of now that, that that's what i told as of now basic installation in my laptop itself i'm showing okay mm. once we okay. go into the clusters i will show everything sir okay okay, okay. Got so it. i don't Thanks. want i don't want make more complex in the starting itself let's make complex in the coming sessions because sure, you sure, you sure. have one idea sir because we for firstly we don't know how to install sql server if i'm making complex right away then definitely everyone will go mad <laughs> and finally forget the base concept okay let's install normal later i will make more complex got it got it yep Proceed. Yeah. okay now sir once you connect to the server again sir everyone okay so once you connect to the servers okay later later sir. once you connect to the server later we'll verify ms info 32 and we'll see all that input sir what is my sql version what is what is my operating system what is the version how many cores it is running what is the speed of my core and how much gp of ram and how many disks are disks are available all this you need to verify verify sir because 
in real world in real world your sql installation at least it will take for two to three days sir to install one sql instance okay because again process we need to get all this process sir installation is very easy but you need to follow all this process okay once you got a ticket sir for example so technically they will call it as a build new build again i'm repeating no one will call it as installation sir uh, maybe uh, they will call it as a uh, next week you are going to one build request you need where you need to install the sql server so we will call it as a build request okay so once you got the ticket first you need to connect to the server and verify whether you are able to connect to the server whether you are able to connect to the server and verify all the disks are available what is the C, what is the windows version uh, what is the what is the flavor how many cores and how much of memory everything sir in case if you're not able to connect to the server if you're not able to connect to the server you need to contact your windows team you need to contact your windows team maybe your windows team forget to grant the permission sir to you okay first you need to do all these checks first you need to do all these checks once you got a new request you need to first take the rtp if example if you're not able to take rtp take the screenshot and and talk to your windows team hey i got a new build request but while i'm trying to connect to the server so it is not allowing me to connect to the server can you please grant the permission to so on so group so in real world miroka group unta sir everyone will maintain one group like uh, sql dot uh, dba dot some group names on i'm not telling the only this group okay lg so you windows team need to grant the permission to this group so that entire your team can access this server by mistakenly they forget sir actually so that is the reason you are not able to connect to the server getting my point so first once you got a request you need to go and connect to the server and verify whether you are able to access or not and verify resources that's it sir got it yes no yes sub yes sub other sir only one or two years i am getting others everyone is so silent getting getting okay. sub thank you yeah okay yes sir okay so once i connected sir if not able to connect contact windows team sir once you connect and uh, so as a yeah, one second sir okay yeah sir uh, once you connect to the server uh, we verified uh, version uh, version flavors cpu memory along with disk is also very important sir again i'm repeating disk is also very important disk so once we open here open disk manager sir disk management and go and verify all the disk are mapped to the server or not that is also very very important sir in real world same practice sir again i'm showing how real world will look looks i will make make in the cluster sir exactly how real world will install the sql server will make the sql installation same sir when we are discussing clusters okay now see sir uh, sir in real world data files will keep in one drive log files will keep in one drive temp db will keep in one drive okay so backups will keep in sometimes sir will keep in separate drive or sometimes will keep in the log file drive okay so binary files by default it will go to the c drive only all the binary files so this is the best practice we should follow we should follow sir again not everyone sir everyone either it can be oracle or sql or any sir 
best practices are very important so in real world we won't keep everything in single disk we won't keep everything in single disk sir what we will do data files in in one drive log files in one drive entire temp db in one drive entire temp db sir only for temp db will keep in separate drive sir okay so backups may or may not sir that may or may not so whether whatever the disk sir make a note if you are maintaining 500 servers 600 servers 700 servers 1000 servers all the servers will follow the same strategy okay all the all the data files will go to the d drive all the log files will go to the e drive all the temp will go to the t drive as per your company project policy sir the drive letters can be different but the concept is same and the drive names different to sir but the concept which is the same sir so first once you connect to the server once you connect to the server go and verify all the disk and disk letters are properly mapped got it in case if you are not able to see any disk and in case the drive letter is different go and create a ticket to the again windows team and tell them hey this is not our standard can you please go and change the drive letter to d d stands for data files getting my point online people yes sir if you're not able to connect to the server windows team if your disks are not mapped to the server and if disk letters are something different okay than your standards then go and contact the windows team so for that purpose only i am telling first once you got any request go and connect to the server and do pre-checks pre-checks sir yes questions sir that disks are mapped or not how it is checking sir sir here sir see in this server only right i open disk manager okay c drive is is, is mapped and you are able to see sir if you go open yes. my computer if you open my computer i am able to see the c drive i am able to do this see the d drive correct but i am not able yes. to see the log drive temp drive unfortunately in that scenario you need to contact again windows team hey windows team i am not able to see the log drive i am not able to see the temp drive okay can you please look into okay sir Yes, no. So once you done this pre-check, sir. Once you done this pre-checks, next is a major, sir. That is nothing but service account. Very, very, very important, sir. Service account. Very, very important, sir. Okay, service account. service accounts are very very important sir what do you mean by service account means sir when you install sql server when you install sql server you will get one service sir service you will get service right whatever you are installing sir either antivirus or vlc player or ms office whatever you install sql whatever you install sir you will get one service okay so my my intention is which account i need to use to run this service which account sir which login sir service account is nothing but login only sir don't don't uh, think like it's a strange no sir service account is nothing but login only so specially i am using that login to this to run this service and our login nenu only e service run cheyadaniki use chesa sir inge ekkada use cheyandi so that is the reason I'm calling service account to which account I need to use to run this service. Getting my point? So that is very, very important point, sir. Where is it? Yeah, very, very important point, sir. Which account I need to use to run the service in real world, sir, you will see two kind of things. One is commonly they will use only one account to run all the services entire your project 
that kind of projects also you may get ante oke oka account use chesaru sir anni sequel ki meeru 200 sequel maintain cheyandi 300 sequel maintain cheyandi 400 sequel maintain cheyandi oka account e use chesaru sir so okay if you are maintaining 200 servers 300 server 400 servers they will use only one account common account that is the main main thing one more project is every server will maintain different account every server will maintain different account so you will see two kind of service accounts one is common service account one is different service account getting yes no sir very very important point sir because if you want to get the service account it will take 24 hours service account creation key minimum to minimum 24 hours per tundi sir okay not okay yes okay. could you repeat this service account uh, again yeah sir sir service account is nothing but login everyone understand sir it's just a login it's just a login sir but that login is using only to run the sql services sir getting my point these two points are clear sir everyone yes yes next sir next okay sir in real world we are having multiple servers sir see uh dell sql 45 cal sql uh, 90 hoe sql 193 okay 193 uh bal sql 1001 okay ap sql something sir so one two three four five six i am maintaining six sql servers sir six sql servers in real world all the six six sql servers we will maintain a single account that is also you may get a chance or every sql you will you you will create a separate service account means separate login you may also get this chance so two two things one account for all the sql servers every sql you will create one separate account getting not getting okay okay i will show you sir how to create the service account all this stuff not now again you should bear with for clustered sir okay everything i will show you practically no worries what is what is uh, uh, the differences uh, uh, single account or uh, different different account for all the uh, security sir that is up to your wish sir okay there is nothing that is account only either you are going for single service account or you are going for multiple service account nothing sir but as a best practice go for multiple service account sir don't go for single account because okay. if all the services are running with single account if someone is hacked then gone correct right that is not a best practice right sir hackers can do anything sir so if you better go for every instance with running with different service account that is one of the best practice right sir yes oh. no right right so, so we once... need to create our window window team uh, it's great no so not windows team uh, you will have a separate team called active directory team you okay. have separate team sir ad team ad team active okay. directory team so you need to create a ticket to the active directory team can you go and create a service account so you need to create a ticket sir no one you you we dbs sir we will we will okay. create a ticket to the active directory team to create this service account right okay so and once once active directory team will create you will get a mail sir your outlook you will get a mail along with this service account along with the password okay okay not okay okay right so you need to create a ticket to the you need to create a ticket to the active directory so, sir very simple uh, hi uh, hi team 
so uh, we got a new build request on so on so server as per this build request we need to uh, we are requesting you to create the service account please create the service account mention the service account and tell them please create password never expire password should be never expired sir okay as per policies every 45 days every 90 days your passwords will be expired correct service account password should be never expired sir always okay if something suddenly password is expired your sql will down then go on your application will down it's very difficult sir make sure that when you are creating a ticket to the active directory team you need to tell to active directory team set the password never expire don't forget yes no everyone sir yes sir yes sir, sir again sir, remember all the theoretical parts sir i will show you practically how active directory team will create the service accounts all the stuff i will show you practically only sir right now no when we are discussing clustered sir okay clear so as per as per you this service account uh, used for us starting uh, starting the services of microsoft sql right yes sir yes sir only for to run the sql sir only right. only only to to run my sql okay only right. to run my sql right thank you now also in some cases they will configure the dash scheduler jobs to copy the files using the sql server yes sir but points will discuss but majorly yeah. this account will use only to run the sql services and to yeah. make the communication between sql to sql sir one sql instance to another sql instance means i wanted to interact uh, sql to sql from this instance to this instance how we will make a bridge means using service accounts okay all this stuff again that's what sir in a single session we can't explain the sql installation because it contains lot of parameters sir and keep on our journey one by one one by one i am going to cover and i will highlight this point is also you need to make a note down and i will share a document sir no need to prepare i will share one best document what are the things you need to take care if you are installing sql server proposed installation pre installation everything sir make sense so without the service account we can't install sql server no you can install sir local account but that is not a best practice that is yes. not a best practice that i'm going to tell you tell sir okay uh, on on urgent basis sir okok sir manaku urgent request of sir installation on on urgent basis we need to install sql server very quickly sir if you are following that i need to create the service account it will take lot of time right sir it will take at least in a day because it need to approve it need to create it will take one day sir so on on urgent basis we will install sql with the local accounts with the local accounts we'll install with the local accounts sir but but you need to drop a mail to application team uh, hi 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 john hi Carl. on an urgent basis we install sql server with the local accounts okay so as a best practice we need to run the sql service with service account please provide a downtime to change the service account to uh, to change the sql services to service account okay you need to drop a mail sir you need to take the downtime without downtime don't stop the sql okay sir getting yeah so initially who confirms the service account name application team no sir it's a it's a process only when you are when you are part of the project okay when you are part of the project in the project will follow one standards you need to get that standard when you are taking kt sir when you are taking kt yeah so for okay. all the service service account should be same right uh not same sir will follow one standard one standard yeah standard. for that standard only who confirms i request this service account application name? team application team yeah. only in the initial stage later on okay. we 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 already know sir okay sir every time we never ask sir we know the standards 
we know the standard sir as per the standards you are proceeding the installations so who is responsible for passwords passwords suppose if you lost password no, so no, no sir now, now i'm going to tell, no no now i'm going to tell the same thing sir okay okay once we complete the service account sir once you got the service account and a password now what you need to do right so first you need to change the service account password sir this pass whatever the password your active directory team shared right that's password that password will expire in five days so within five days you mustn't should change the password make a note sir clear note once a pretty me go active directory team hello up username along with password set chase arrow our password in mirror change chali within five days if not that's password will be expired again so assume sir uh, you are going for vocation you are going for vocation and that build request is not that much critical you feel that i will come in next three days okay so in that cases whenever you are creating a request it will ask you to whom i need to share password to whom i need to share password don't give your name sir give any one of your colleague name because you are going for vocation don't give your name give any your colleague name and tell them hey you will receive the service account password go and reset the password and perform the installation got you yes sir yes no can you repeat please okay no sir sir assume sir whenever you are creating a uh, service account request to active directory team okay so you will get account details and password to your email address right yes or no to your email yes sir so once but but you are going for vocation for long term sir okay in that cases don't give your name sir when you are creating a ticket give your colleague name and tell tell uh, your colleague you will receive the password i am going for leave for vocation go and perform the installation getting my point yes no yes yes that is the best practice sir you need to do sir okay now once you once you got the username and password sir i need to change the password you must and should change the password okay search for osk sir on screen keyboard okay on on the server on the server you need to search for osk click control alter click control alter with your keyboard on your keyboard and click delete button with mouse sir with mouse it will ask you to change the password click on that one and provide the service account provide the password what you received over email and change the password that password should be uh, as per the standard sir in real world uh, 16 digit passwords 25 digit passwords and 8 digit passwords we will maintain sir so it's very difficult to provide the name right use the password generator password generator in google okay so password generator and what are the uh, alphabetics you want okay how strong upper cases lower cases numbers and choose all these things how many characters you want and click on generate okay choose everything choose everything and click on generate sir okay say i want 15 digit passwords let's see sir and use this password but you may ask one question sir where i need to store this password that's what right if i am maintaining only one server okay i can i can maintain the password sir if i am maintaining five servers okay 10 servers okay 100 servers 200 servers now it's very difficult sir so in real world okay so most of the people will use cyber arc you need to remember this name sir cyber arc okay where they are going to store username and passwords where they are going to store username and passwords cyber arc azure key vault 
azure key vault key stores password key stores uh, they will use some third party tools or, or I, what i mean to say right sir cyber arc third party tools azure key vault to store the login name and passwords okay once you change the password go and register your login name and password in the cyber arc in the azure key vault in any third party tool sir getting my point so where you are going to store your all your login name and password sir that's what service account and password sir in the cyber arc in the azure key vault in the in third party tools they are going to store sir in real world hope you are getting sir we are not storing in x most of the people never store in excel or notepad sir no we will store we will store all our login names and passwords in the different tools like cyber arc azure key vault or uh, password um, password keys to key stores such kind of third party tools will use sir yeah got it yes super so remember cyber arc sir everyone okay most of the companies standard companies will use the cyber arc sir cyber arc is like url only sir url you need to open that url okay so you need to search with your service account it will display the service account now you can copy the password or you can reset the password okay you can do everything from here only sir cyber arc only but whatever i am telling that is a processor first you need to create a ticket to the active directory team they will create the login name and password you need to reset the password once you reset the password you need to register register your uh, login name and password into the cyber arc next time onwards you can get the password from the cyber arc itself yes no yes sir clear not clear sir he definitely the for the newcomers uh, they will confuse because of this cyber arc because they are not aware what uh, what it exactly do yes sir since okay. the experience person uh, yeah no since that is the ad integrated no problem sir i will, I will, I will show yeah. you in the azure key vault yeah i will show you in the azure mm -hmm. key vault sir yeah I will show you how to register our service account and password in the Azure key vault and how to retrieve the password whenever mm -hmm. we want. So you mean the Azure key vault is the AD integrated or it's non AD integrated? AD integrated. It's the okay. Azure platform only, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's what, sir. Uh, installation is very simple, sir. Again, I'm repeating as Sampa told. Uh, installation is very simple, simple, sir. Next, 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 next. Nothing you are doing okay but process will make more stronger sir my intention is process only i don't want to tell what is what that you can learn anywhere sir if you go and search in google you will learn lot of blocks but process will make more stronger in technical sir i hope the people who are experienced first time it's very difficult sir watch twice watch thrice watch four times it definitely will become stronger don't hurry sir we are having lot of time till jan ending we are having lot of time fib only i'm going to put your profiles will come into the market on fib you are having lot of time sir don't get hurry okay make all these points then you will become stronger i don't want any one of my student going to the market without knowing process you should know the processor yep first that's what first everyone even sai scold me lot why you will tell all this concept definitely they will go mad only i just want i told to sai that i want to put them pressure from day one they don't make look a sequel is very easy at the ending umma sequel is so complex no sir day one onwards i'm making complex only at ending also i will make more complex double complex sir now at least uh, 
basic complex this is and ending i will make double complex getting that time okay you will feel so comfortable oh i we know all this concept now we are coming practicals if you know the theoretical practicals will make more easier sir because you you need to understand the uh, issue if if a car got repaired sir you don't know about anything about car if if that car got repaired suddenly no one is available what you will do sir you will get some idea right okay i need to open the barrier i need to see uh, anything is there engine oil is there or or coolant oil or 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 i need to see anything uh, wire wiring problem something sir you should know basic concept then go and purchase the car without no don't purchase sir it's very difficult on on sudden basis something happen even we experience whenever last month we went to pandicherry we experienced that one but somehow my friend knows somehow our student knows sir and they called the is mechanic and somehow it issue got resolved so on sudden suddenly my car went down completely that's that will happen to sequel as well sir suddenly your database engine is down now you don't have any idea then gone correct yes or no treat as a engine sir it is also database engine this is treat your car engine if suddenly something goes wrong then gone here also same thing sir compare natural compare sir i don't want technical comparison always i will compare with the natural okay let's treat like this then you will get better so if someone is asking can you install okay i need all this input sir because it's it's not just like my mission right i can go and install so it's real world so i need to follow all the best practices what are the sir what whether i need to install standalone cluster which version which edition what is the software hardware okay what is the service account from till here i discuss this sir so all these four points are comfortable right sir yes no yes sir only one yes everyone sir 15 people 14 attendance is there yes sir yes sir it's very simple yes, sir. sir don't make complex if i am not telling anything then you will become more complex in real world nenu meek explain cheyakapothe meeru real world ki ellin tarvata you struggle like anything sir i don't want to do that one i am making now only struggle future it will be easy ippudu meeru kashta padte next future is very easy sir ippudu meeru simplify chesthe now future will become more complex okay that's it sir so very simple sir don't make complex okay at all ikkada emi complex le sir meeru sequel install cheyalante em em kavalanade important sir version edition software hardware okay service account so service account ante endante kontha mandi oke account use chesar sir appude em problem ledu kontha mandi every sequel ki oka account use chesar sir appudu meeru active directory team tho interact ayyesi వాళ్ళు అకౌంట్ క్రియేట్ చేసిన తర్వాత మీరు పాస్వర్డ్ చేంజ్ చేసే ఆ ఐడి పాస్వర్డ్ వచ్చేసి సైబర్ ఆర్క్ లో రిజిస్టర్ చేస్తాం సార్ దట్స్ ఇట్ అంతకు మించి మీరు ఏం చేయొచ్చు సార్ ఇవన్నీ జస్ట్ టెన్ టు ఫిఫ్టీన్ మినిట్స్ ఇట్ వోంట్ టేక్ మోర్ టైమ్ ఇన్ రియల్ వరల్డ్ క్రియేటింగ్ ఎ టికెట్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ విల్ టేక్ ఇస్ ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ ఓన్లీ సార్ ఏ హై టీమ్ సో వీ గాట్ న్యూ బిల్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఫర్ దిస్ బిల్ రిక్వెస్ట్ please go and create a service account and send the mail uh, password to this email account and set the password never expire that's it sir got it so yes, now someone asked right where sir you everyone will get one idea one one doubt oh where we are storing all this passwords and service accounts now you got one idea where sir either service either cyber arc or azure key vault or some third party uh, key stores means okay in real world based on my project anywhere i can store the 
my passwords my uh, my accounts my passwords okay now you got one idea yes or no that idea is so good sir okay sir no worries who are pay placing i will show you everything practical only okay no worries meeru select aina tarvata one week lo nenu real world chupistha sir meeku no worries don't thanks you should get all this idea that's what my intention is now next sir <coughs> sir again sir i am repeating these are all the best practices you should follow sir data files on one drive log files on one drive tam db one drive this is three are very very important make a note sir everyone okay don't keep everything in single disk that is not at all a best practice we never should encrease because application team don't know sir assume sir application team don't know now you need to encrease tell them hey app stream okay as per the best practices we should not increase to keep all the files in a single disk as a best practice data files need to in separate drive log files in need to in separate drive and temp db need to be in separate drive that level of interaction you need to make a communication with your app stream don't get tangled sir okay no one because you are helping them they never uh complaint or anything on on beyond you sir because you are helping them only sir that is them those servers those servers are belong to them not you you are just maintaining manamu what any maintain chestunnam sir our servers ni our servers our applications they are using we are just educating them because they don't know as a dba we need to educate them tell them hey you are not following best practices follow the best practices so that sql will give better performance yes no even when you go to the service center sir they will tell right so if you go for this one it will give better better performance better mileage all they will highlight you right sir yes or no like that you need to also tell them sir if they are not following best practices okay not okay okay sir okay now sir and a couple of other parameters sir uh, whenever you are installing by default a couple of parameters you need to take care like authentication mode as of now no need to worry sir when we are discussing uh, security when you are discussing security i will discuss about what is this windows authentication what is this mixed authentication so in sql we have two authentication sir windows authentication mixed authentication remember this one sir we will discuss more on the security part and i will share you one document if you if, if don't afraid sir i will show you one document okay the people who are experienced maybe okay that first time who are seeing don't get afraid this is the security document sir each and every having multiple permissions a lot of thousands of permissions sir see all these are permissions one can do many so but that's what sir uh, when we are discussing security i will share this document along with one best document for service account service account sir okay this is the best document for service account it contains lots of information sir wait sir hold on hold on not this one oh. service accounts in sql server yeah yeah this one sir keep it this handy sir okay i am not going through this all the steps at the ending i will explain sir because these are very very important okay what are the permission you need to grant to which account what are the permission you need to grant 
wait, 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 sir. It's... Come on, yeah. Hey. Not this one, sir. So we suck contents because Yeah, this one, sir. Okay. Yeah, this is only, sir. Just you need to click on Windows Privileges and Rights. Now you will get a lot of permissions. What permissions you need to grant? Security is very uh, important concept, sir. We need to protect our SQL like anything. So this is the best document. Okay. Uh, you should keep it handy, sir. Okay, we'll discuss all this concept not now because you don't know about what is this logon services will do replace policy level will do bypass Travis uh, checking uh, We don't know anything about all these concepts or it's very difficult to understand but uh, This I will discuss in the advanced level and this is the best document You should make handy sir when you are granting permission to the service accounts to the service account Okay very important documents sir. please make it handy i will explain all these concepts okay that's what sir security is the one of the major concept in entered sql server okay so uh, when we are discussing security i will discuss about what is this windows windows authentication what is mixed authentication what is sa password all this concept i will discuss in the security is it fine everyone Yes or no? Yes. I will again. I will come back, sir. Okay. I will discuss what is Windows authentication, what is mixed authentication, what is SA password. Okay. And I I just shared you right one important document for especially for service account permission, sir. That is a best document, sir. That is the best document. Uh, make it handy, sir. Uh, very rare case will dig that much level, sir, because uh, when when I I'm working. With one of our project, okay. I'm having issue with one to install the SQL server. Okay, uh, we done lot many things, sir. In that time, I got that document. I came to know, okay, these are all things where we need to take care when we are working with service accounts. But again, sir, that you are following or not following, that is up to your project. I am not telling that everyone will follow all this, but you should know, sir. Miru follow Utunara, Leda, work Chesunara, Leda Nezi. That is up to your project, sir. I am not telling anything. But as a DBA, you must and should know all these documents, a process, uh, what permissions we need to grant whenever we need that. If you know, well and good, sir. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, one more thing is. Collation, sir. Collation is nothing but language. Language, sir. So, what language we need to use? By default, we'll use Latin only, sir. Nothing but English. By default, we'll go for Latin, English, sir. Sometimes, sometimes your application team wantedly they will provide wantedly they will provide one collation name, sir. A different collation name. Okay. If they are providing a different collation, you need to change the collation name, like. Uh, Spanish Japanese Portuguese okay if wantedly they are providing a different collation you need to choose the collation if they are not providing go for the default no need to ask sir okay if wantedly and a wall provide chase they mirror collation changes condition 
otherwise go for the default so by default it will be latin that is english sir by default we'll go for english language in case if your application team is providing a different collation name make a note sir please go and select that collation only please go and select that collation only once you complete the installation if you wanted to change the collation biggest challenge again i'm repeating by mistakenly if you are selecting a wrong collation then gone sir then gone again it's very difficult to change the collation name okay so please be careful this part rest everything is very simple sir no need to tense collation is very tough concept sir tough means if you by mistakenly if you are choosing wrong collation means otherwise not sir if you are choosing wrong collation and you install sql server later your application team is identified uh, you have selected the wrong collation then gone it will become more excellent sir it will become more escalation so please be careful if application team is providing a collation name choose that collation if not go for default sir okay vallu iste a collation ni chela cheskondi vallu em ivakapothe meer default ga ellipondi sir no problem nothing will happen okay is it instance level or database level also we can set collation sir instance level sir when you are installing it's instance level later we can change the database level column level row level we'll discuss that concept okay it's instance level sir so make a note sir again i'm repeating when they are providing collation name choose that collation name otherwise go for default if you are pro they if they are provided the collation name by mistakenly if you are choosing wrong biggest challenge sir okay because you need to rebuild entire master then again it become more challenge again it become more escalation sir i we don't want that level of escalations okay please be careful if they are providing okay choose that one sir meeru installation chese tap not only installation sir if you are performing any activity double time check twice check sir okay when you are clicking okay check all the parameters and click on okay sir okay that is the best practice don't blindly perform sir anything over confidence makes sometimes escalation sir okay not okay so collations sa windows authentication or mixed authentication binary files service accounts editions sql versions okay so license you will get by default sir okay by default when you are going for set a file by default it will get the license id by default it will get the license id sir just you need to accept that license apart from nothing else you need to do sir you will get the default license id by default <clears throat> and finally what features we need to install sir apart from database engine sir apart from database engine so apart from database engine we have analysis service reporting service integration service if your application wants this one we will install sir otherwise you can ignore it no problem sir later also we can install okay so if if they are providing integration service analysis service reporting service we need to install these three services otherwise no need sir otherwise no need okay once you complete the sql installation later also you can install these services later also you can install the services so what components we need to install integration service analysis service reporting services so these are all the inputs you need to get it from the application team sir yes no yes sir Yes, any question sir so before you go to the installation again i'm repeating sir uh, a standard edition enterprise edition uh, standalone install installation cluster installation and what, where i need to store all my data files log files and binary files along with the tempdb and what is the service account 
and uh, what authentication i need to choose windows or mixer authentication if you are going for mixer sir me if you are going for mixer mode if you are going for mixer mode you need to set up sa password what sa password i need to maintain okay what are the features i need to install what is the collision along with along with one more point sir i you wanted to add okay what are the logins i need to grant by within installation itself okay to whom i need to grant the permission while installation that is also sir uh, but i will show you practically sir it's very difficult to understand tomorrow i'm going to show you practically right well installed okay yeah that's it sir i hope it is heavy for everyone <laughs> yes no come on sir yes no yes, sir yeah. uh, i will i will explain you sir i will i will explain you. uh three locations sir i will show you three locations okay one is your uh summary.txt one is binary dot uh, detail.txt one is on temp drive there will be sql log text will be available in that folder so finally there are three locations sir in three locations you can get the why your sql installation got failed three locations yes no okay everyone comfortable sir yes sir yeah okay yes, yeah that's it sir thank you if no questions we'll touch in tomorrow yeah tomorrow we'll perform the we'll complete the installation sir Thanks, everyone. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.